Hey guys, this is Coach John Zombro here with the Lifetime Body and I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm here with the whiteboard and I'm going to share with you some information today about injuries. This is actually part one of two and today we're going to talk about acute injuries. And acute injuries, uh, as you know, are those uh, emergent or accidental things which happen and they're a little bit different than say a chronic or overuse injury which we'll get to in part two. So the first thing to think about is when we have an acute injury, and that could be anything such as uh, you know turning your ankle or you know, spraining the ankle uh, or a myriad of other uh, types of injury, uh, the body uh, goes through three phases of healing or recovery. And they do have some fairly official names, but what I like to do is use terms that make sense to me and hopefully also make sense to you. And the first phase when we have an acute injury is we have bleeding in the tissues. That's followed by scab formation, if you will, and I'll explain this, and also scar. Well, it turns out that when we injure our body on the inside, it's very similar to how we might say with an accident with the knife in the kitchen, cut ourselves on the outside of the body. So we go through that same process on the inside when tissues are uh, damaged or contused or torn. and uh, the first thing that happens is the body uh, you know, actively has some uh, bleeding and some blood vessel uh, damage going on, but that's actually how we react to the injury and, and respond to it by creating this cloud of inflammation uh, that initiates the healing process. Then we have what we recognize on the outside of the body when, uh, let's say, that same laceration or cut forms a scab. Uh, we have uh, what the body does, it builds up what's known as granulation tissue and it builds this um, repair matrix or it rebuilds the tissue to the, the best that it can. In some tissues that's what we call regeneration and then in other tissues it's what we call repair and particularly when we're talking about uh, injuring uh, muscles or tendons or ligaments it's primarily this repair product or deposition of scar tissue that is utilized. Lastly we've got um, the scar, well basically what that means, that scar phase means that you know the, the bleeding and the pain is finished up with and also that kind of fragile sensitive uh, scab time has uh, passed and now we're in we're, uh, a phase where we're remodeling and refining the tissue. The body's goal is always to minimize the amount of scar that we have and to also make it as functional uh, as we can. One thing to know about scar tissue though is it's generally not quite as elastic as original tissue that it's replacing, nor is it quite as strong from a tensile perspective or yield point. It's close, but not quite. So then we get into some uh, ways that we can augment the healing phases by using some management sequences. And this isn't very complicated, you'll see how these things line up. So when uh, our body is in this bleeding and reacting and responding phase, we want to support healing. And, and we all know what that means, but we want to protect the area and use whatever uh, modalities or in some cases medications that are appropriate to uh, facilitate putting out the fire of inflammation and allowing the body to start to, to rebuild um, the injured area. Oftentimes this only takes a few days uh, in the case of a minor injury or can be many weeks uh, with a more catastrophic or severe injury. Uh, also keep in mind that surgery is an injury. It's an acute injury from the date of the surgery. So uh, we want to always promote healing in the early phase. Uh, then we have during the, the secondary or what we're calling scab phase, uh, that's when we do most of our rehabilitation and that's restoring basic functions such as the mobility uh, of a body part or the whole body itself and also a basic strength, ability to do dailies of or activities of daily living, that sort of thing. And this can take just a few weeks to a few months depending again upon uh, you know, the depth of the assignment that we have for our body. Uh, last but not least we have in the scar phase where training comes in. So once we've gotten most of our healing and rehabilitation out of the way, that's when we can train and that's to restore higher levels of function, uh, prior level or beyond. And ultimately when those things are completed, we finally get back to living and or competing. So in the athletic model, uh, the end point is always to get back to competing in sports and this process allows that to happen uh, most successfully with uh, less risk of re-injury and also the chance for higher performance. 
Um, in the basic life approach, if, if a person has a backpacking trip or a, a gardening uh, project, equally valid. So uh, again, living and competing uh, really applies to all of us and all of our inner athletes. Uh, so that's basically an overview of how an acute injury heals and what we can do to facilitate it. Uh, in the next video, I'll be talking a little bit more about uh, chronic or overuse injuries and how we can manage those. And until then, uh, this is Coach Jay-Z signing off from the Lifetime Body where science meets common sense and where we help you kick ass for life. And if you're loving this content, and I do hope that you are, uh, please uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, uh, subscribe to the channel and share with your friends and family. See you next time.